Hello everyone. So today I'm going to change our pressure test system to support a one chair pressure say a chest contains multiple items. For example here, let me add a gauntlet, a plate mail armor and gauntlets and a helmet and a sword and then if i go here and collect you can see all three items are collected at once uh, not three four items here you can see gauntlets and the character's armor and the sword and helmets so all of them contains in the chest now if you want you can add even more let me just add Let go and shield as well. Okay. See, everything is collected and automatically applied to the character. So, yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. Before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from my Patreon page and also this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below and let's get started with today's tutorial okay so right now what we have here is in these uh, chests we it contains only one item here you can see ability class this contains the armor plate uh, plate mail armor so i can collect it like this but each uh, chest can contain only one item now what i want to do is instead of having only one item i want the chest to i want the chest to contain multiple items this is because someone mentioned that why am i why have i done it this way so actually the re the main reason is instead of having a chest earlier i had the object itself so that's why i didn't think of having multiple objects but now that we have a chest system i think it's better to have yeah i agree that it's better to have multiple items okay so to get started let me open our chest blueprint and here you can see the ability class that we add to the character once the chest is collected let's see what are the references of this here and in the construction script but this is no longer used so we can get rid of that part and in the show notification we have this okay so now what i'm gonna do is here instead of keeping this as a variable i'm going to turn this into an array but before that let me convert these places where this is used into a macro so it would be easier for us to do the conversion okay so let me select these items and deselect this ability class keep it outside oh sorry right this is correct and then convert this to a macro mm. collect item Okay, we have two inputs going into the going from the same pin, which is not required. This is the interacting actor. So let's change it.
Right. Now this interaction actor. And I'll remove this actor pin. And this is collectible ability. Okay, now we can write this. Alright. And yeah. Then now let's convert this into an array. Oh, before that, one more thing that we need to check. Inside this macro, this collect item macro, we have a reference to the ability class. I'll take it outside. Oh, what happened? It's unclear. It's not very clear. Okay. Uh, collectible class right now can I use this yeah wait why it doesn't have the icon gear collect sword class oh no we can we, we just need to enable it here so can do it and enable the icon and disable unconnected pins compile okay now we only have one get ability class reference here cool that means this is the only place that we need to worry about when we convert this into an array so i'll convert this into an array Okay, and let's run for each lock here and then in the loop body element is passed as the collectible ability and after this is I don't think we need to where was it connected here where we don't want to connect this output here i'll connect it at when it is completed okay now it should work but let's see here we don't have anything so let me add three items plate mail armor and the gauntlet and Helmet and sword. Let's see now. Yeah, see? Now, character collected at once three items. Cool. So, that's all I want to do in this episode. Alright. So, thanks for watching. As always, updated credit files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.